spit, spit, spit. Okay. I was listening to David Brousseau. He was studying the early church fathers. He was debunking Calvinism, saying, Why would God command you to keep the law if you couldn't? No, no. Why would God command you to seek it? To turn to him. To obey his commands. We couldn't obey his commands. Calvinism says you can't obey the law of God. And indeed, Paul the Apostle says that in Scripture too. Paul the Apostle also says the law is given for a schoolmaster to show us, show us how sinful we are. That we can't keep the law. Why did God command you to keep it if you couldn't keep it? Ah, because he was to show that. Because maybe because to show that you since you can't keep the law, that you leave you hopeless. So the only thing you can do is turn to God and trust in his goodness and have faith in him. And for Christ, all right, that's what saved you. Having faith in him. Not the keeping of the law, but having faith in him. So I hope therefore that, that the object of this lesson is. You were commanded to keep the law. God said, God said, I, the word is not even in, my, in my mouth and heart. You do not have to ask to ascend up to heaven to get it. It's already, it's already given here. But as you try to keep the law, you, as, you, as, the, as the Old Testament people tried to keep the law, they realized they couldn't, couldn't, couldn't follow it all. So, all they could do is seek God and try to find and seek God and tell God, look, God, we're sinners. All of us, our fathers and us are sinners, but please have mercy on us. And then, but through faith in God, that's you came to know God in the Old Testament. Reading his law and his spirit, his, his kind of glory, you made a connection to a spirit, and you, and you, you with what little faith you had, you did your best to follow God's commands. But it's not following every law that's going to save you. You got to know God, even in the Old Testament. You got to have faith. You got to have faith in God. That's what saved you.